Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Annalisa and I'm doing a pick a card reading for you today. The topic is what am I not seeing about this situation? So we'll look at the situation, what you're not seeing and some advice. Three decks for you to choose from. We have the Akashic, Akashic Tarot, I think it's called, Akashic something, with um, this is a piece of raw amber on there. And then the second deck we have is the Arcanum Tarot with this beautiful shell. I've kind of got the light behind me, so it's a bit tricky to see these. And then the third deck is the Wild, um, what is it called? Wild Wood, Wild Wood Tarot with Ocean Jasper. So take your pick and um, you can go to the link below to skip to the timestamp for your reading. Okay, group number one. Group number one, what is group number one not seeing about the situation they're thinking of? So whatever your situation is, tuning into that. And what are you not seeing? And pulling in Divine Beloved Sophia Guides and guardians, spirit beings, spirit animals, ancestors, please support us and join us, help me give a clear, precise reading for group number one. Okay, we have the situation, we have what you're not seeing, sorry, you won't be able to see the amber, amber's here, I just need a bit more space, what you're not seeing, and the advice card, okay, and let's get a another card of advice. <clears throat> okay. So the situation, we've got the fated meeting and the seven of forces balance. So this is a, a relationship, this is to do with a love relationship. Um, someone you have met, someone who you likely feel is destined to be with you. This could be a kind of um, a surprise meeting or a surprise connection that you weren't, you weren't planning on meeting someone. They just kind of appeared in your life or this connection appeared in your life. And um, it feels like there is some kind of, there is sort of divine timing at play with the, there's a, a clock here. So you, can I lean this on? so it's like it's like the clock strikes midnight it's like the Cinderella story where um, things meet things happen at a certain time there's, there's been this kind of destiny point that's happened in your life this kind of bringing together of two beings with a, a purpose you know there's been a reason for you to meet and to share an energy exchange and at the same time we have balance so this is a situation about bringing things into harmony and you can see in this card there's no people here so it may have been like one of these things which was a, a meeting intense meeting and then nothing where it's been like quick and sudden and then kind of 
either there's been some kind of ending or there's been something left behind or somebody's gone, but it feels like there is, um, there's nothing in that, it's like not in physical, tangible space at the moment. You may have had dreams about this person, you know, like you dreamt of them before you met them or you knew something was coming in. Um, but I feel like there may be an influence of work, like some something to do with um, needing to focus on work or needing to take work into account right now. What are you not seeing about the situation? Okay. So you may be worried about this situation or you may be kind of flip-flopping between this. But this feels like so sacred and so special, but at the same time it's not here or it's not working or I've got to just do my work or they've gone or whatever it is. It's like this kind of um, split feeling. And what you're not seeing about the situation is, is there is a gift, right? There's a real gift in your situation right now. So Archangel Raphael is about healing. You can see the green, the green orb that he's holding. This is the heart chakra, green and the pink. You can also see his, his heart there is really shining. It's really glowing. So there's an absolute gift. So in this meeting, in this connection, and there is a, a need or a time of um, healing and purifying the heart space that needs to happen, first of all or that is going on, it, it's something that's growing, you know, in order for the for the sun to shine in the situation, it, it's like healing, really deep heart healing particularly needs to, needs to take place, and needs time to nurture and grow, it's like, this is like a seed that's been planted, and it needs um, the care and the nurturing and the love in order to, to help it kind of, you know, break the ground and really thrive, so there is some a healing process that's going on and <laughs> you may you may be like looking you know at the I don't know if you can see this picture this guy's looking in this big treasure chest and it's kind of it's empty right it's complete like nothing's in there but right behind him in the corner of the room there's this little tiny chest with this bright light that's coming out from it so it's like you're looking in the wrong place. It's like you're looking in this big tre treasure chest. Like, where is it? Like, where is this, like, relationship? Or where is the situation? Or what is it? And you might be confused. You might be not really understand what's maybe going on in the whole situation and feel like it's empty. Like, what what's going on? And it's behind you. <laughs> so the, there's something else for you to discover. Something else for you to see where you can really see the light and the purity and the beauty of this situation. So there's something hiding in the box. I feel like I want another card. What's what's hiding in the box? What's, what's not being seen? Okay. Right. What's not being seen? So we've got the death card, the Grail Knight, and the Earth Fairy. So, there is an ending. So it feels like, um, yeah, some, something's finished, something's empty and something is gone. So it's like there's, um, uh, yeah, this kind of space. But what, it's like this void is needed, this death is needed. Um, this void creates space, creates a new, um, a new potential. So the the death is necessary because and you you may be seeing things as over or done and not realizing that actually there is um right behind you there's this love offer the grail knight romance illusion and seeking the sacred so it, it's like i feel like you can't you can't actually see clearly right now you're not able to fully perceive what's going on like behind the scenes, it's like something's going on behind the scenes and this light is coming in. So um, I feel like this offer is coming in, especially this could be from a man to a woman. There is a love offer here. And what's really important for you right now is to really um, not get stuck in your mind, not get stuck in your head, but really connect down into your body. And when you really come into your body, so this is literally 
like move your body, do some exercise, get into nature, make sure you're eating really grounded foods like um, potatoes and mushrooms and root vegetables. So really, really grounding down. And I think you'll get some clarity and insight that actually like the, the cup is being offered, you know, the love is being offered um, and you just, it's like you can't see it. The advice, <laughs> we've got the War of the Roses here. And we've also got the goblin, the wounded ego. So I feel like this could be, um, there's definitely an impact of conflict going on somewhere. And I feel like this is about letting go of um, a fight, letting go of a battle. Like lowering, lowering the flag, you know, lowering, putting down this need to win or compete or anything else. And I feel like, because mm, you may be in a state of ego, it's, it's, this is like really needing to be aware of um, your own wounding, how your own wounding, your own insecurities past hurts is impacting on the current situation. You may feel sort of, it's like whatever's happened, something's happened and, um, and you, you feel kind of upset or insulted or hurt by it or you think that you're being you might think there's a war going on or there's a battle going on um but this is coming from your ego mind your ego perception so um really take time to to ground yourself any more advice for the situation okay quite a few <laughs> joy and love what it's here Joy and love is here, so you don't need to worry. We've also got the dog, which is loyalty. Loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love. And trust. <laughs> love, joy, trust, unconditional loyalty. Okay, so <laughs> what you're not seeing is this is a treasure. It's a gift. It's here. Your ego is seeing things in a distorted way. Hope that makes sense. Group number one, that's my message for you. Thank you for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up and um, you can subscribe to my channel below. You can book a private reading if you want something specific to your situation. Bye. And um, group number two was the shell. Group number two, I think is the shell, right? Okay. So, let's see. What is going on in this situation? What are you not seeing? really stiff cards they're really hard to bend okay one more so group number two calling in this protection I feel for some reason surrounding yourself with white light it's really important right now Mm. Drops that. 
yeah trust your intuition tune in with spirit connecting with your your guides and yeah so you really need to call in um like a a protective wall protective field um just you know imagine yourself in a in a bubble of light or having a, a diamond wall of protection around you looking after your energy and and um, holding you and stay really grounded in your body um, making sure you don't get lost in your emotions or your thoughts too much take the time to really breathe into your body stretching exercise walks in nature that kind of thing okay <clears throat> situation we have the death card and the king of pentacles what are you not seeing we have the magician and the moon three major arcana and the ten of wands it's the advice card and another advice card please for group number two okay um so the current situation death and the king of pentacles king of pentacles could refer to a particular person could be you in regards to your work and finances or it could relate to um a male earth sign taurus virgo capricorn someone who is um, quite stable and steady in their work in their profession probably looks after their body looks after their health is stable in the 3d world you know they've kind of got it sorted in in their practical life whoever this individual is whether this is referring to you like your masculine aspect whether you're male or female or someone else there is a transformation going on so there is a process that's going on this person needs to go through it this is major arcana we've got three major arcana out of five cards here so there's a really big transformation um turning around and um this is like a shamanic death right if it can feel you can feel like you're actually dying because something is completely transforming on a internal level which can then transform your external world but very much an internal feeling of it might feel like um things aren't going right things aren't happening how they're supposed to be it can feel like everything's falling apart like everything you know it's like you're not sure what's real anymore you're uncertain um, maybe what to do next or how to move forward and it feels like you have no control. This can be a very enjoyable experience for some people. This is like need to just kind of like, it's like, okay, I give up. I just, sur I surrender. I surrender life. What are you, what are you bringing to me? What are you showing me? And, and when you surrender, the whole process becomes easier. But there is often a desire to fight it, you know, and to want to resist what's what's going on in your world the experience that you're you're going through um but this is a, a time of, of transformation so it, it's a it's a powerful time anyway this time of year this year uh, it is about the underworld and experiencing the shadow experiencing all the things we couldn't see and didn't know and allowing those to um birth us into a new a new being because what you're not seeing about the situation is this magician is that something is absolutely being manifested being created something is being called in that um from a from a very energetic level the magician sorry my phone just ran out of memory <laughs> so um i was talking about the magician so this is about manifesting something on a, an energetic level or on a um, in a kind of more mind space, in a non-physical space. So it's not about taking action on a physical level. So it's, it's like things might not feel like they're happening or seem like they're happening. But what is happening is is on this, um, in this 
the field beyond the physical in these other realms where something is being created. We've got the moon card with it, which is really interesting because I feel like there is this manifestation of something that is unknown. It's like a bit of a mystery. You don't really know what's happening, but something is happening. Something is being created on a, in a positive way, in a really positive way. Um, so like there, there is this kind of hidden um, hidden path or hidden journey that's coming through for you. And it, it's quite exciting. You know, sometimes with the cards, like we really wanna know all the answers and know the information. And, and I feel like this is really saying, let it be a mystery. Let it be unknown. You don't really know what's going on in the situation. You may not fully understand it, but trust that something very powerful is being created and this is gonna be dynamic in your life. The advice is to keep, um, just keep going. Like you can carry the burden, you can hold on, you, you can do this. Just stay with it. Don't, um, like you, you can carry the weight of, of the unknown, the weight of the death, whatever it is, just keep going keep going trust in yourself we also have the cow which is really amazing because this is nourishment abundance asking and receiving the cow is like the giver of plenty so i feel like like gifts are coming in nourishment is coming in abundance is coming in and you just keep going like keep going have the best you can keep moving forward because something under the surface is brewing that's going to just give you a new sense of life a new a new experience a new um a new exciting um world that is opening up you see this um you see this is uh this is cancer the crab there you see something is opening some doors are opening and there is something for you to move through move into this opportunity so it's like these doors the doors are opening and everything's going to be revealed everything's going to come out you're going to see and understand with hindsight but at the moment be in the process just allow the death allow the the emptiness the void whatever stay with it you can hold it you can do it and trust that something is coming something's coming something exciting big a big major arcana is like something powerful is happening for you thanks group number two give me a like a thumbs up a subscribe if you haven't already and you can book a private reading with me below if you want some specific support group number three ocean jasper what do we have for group number three please So group number three, I'm feeling the need to breathe, breathe deeply. And relax your mind, um, maybe overthinking. Just deeply breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Let your shoulders drop. Just take a few breaths now while I'm shuffling the cards. I'm feeling for some of you a sense of um, grief. Like some something maybe in the in the chest in the lungs that as you breathe deeply, you can get in touch with this um, some sadness or something um, to let go of from from your body. So as you breathe, you can breathe into that, and then you can become in touch with the feeling. Allow yourself to feel it, and through just feeling it, you're gonna let it go from your body. So group number three, <clears throat> Ace of Ace of Wands and the Page of Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. Mm. Some truth. 
some new insight coming in. Okay, lots of cards popping. Let's do your reading. What is the situation, please? Okay, we've got the King of Arrows and the Guardian. What you're not seeing, the Two of Stones and the Six of Stones. The Advice, Five of Vessels, Ecstasy. And Avalon card, please, as advice. Here we go, the King. <clears throat> Lots of kings coming out today. We've got two kings in here. King of Arrows, which is the King of Swords, and we also have the King from the Avalon deck. So this could be regarding a man, a male in your life, someone um someone who may be could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a masculine aspect of yourself, feel what resonates. Um, but this is someone who is quite decisive, quite clear thinking. Someone who uh, is likely a um, good communicator, someone who likes um, understanding, learning information, someone who is quite intelligent, someone who can be disconnected from their emotions, so they might be just quite logical, you know, not really feeling so much and just acting quite um, clearly. With this person, we've got the Guardian. This is like the death card. It's, um, in, in this particular deck, I feel like it's about facing some fears. Like someone is facing some fears. Someone is facing death. This is really similar to, um, uh, group number one and very similar. It was like a king and the death card. And, and so there is a transformation that is going on in this individual where they're having to meet with the, the, dark side of themselves the shadow side of themselves in order to move on in their journey in their, their learning journey their healing journey so they're having to really sit with um this like it's like this mirror it's like they're looking in the mirror and suddenly they see something about themselves that's really um quite difficult to look at quite grotesque quite bad they may have made some mistakes acted out of integrity and they're getting really clear insight now like oh that is what I've been like that's what I've been doing this is who I am um and and they're going through a real tough time of it so this can be you can be someone else that you're thinking of in this situation it's to do with the mind you know it, it could be quite likely to do with um how you think about things, how you see things, like there's been some kind of illusion and now things are coming clear, could be to do with how you um, work with your mind and use your mind because this person is quite clever and they may have been um, deceitful or dishonest or manipulative and it's like they have to like really look at that and really understand that about themselves right now. Um, and it's like, it can feel a bit like harsh, you know, quite cold to see that about themselves and so um yeah there th there's been this kind of conflict this kind of um battle the challenge card with these two uh two hairs maybe battling with um uh like someone who's quite similar to them you know if this is a male like another man like a, a close friend or battling with a sibling or a family member or someone who's close and and there's been this kind of battle going on and this struggle going on and there's it's been exploitative it's it's hurt people it's damaged people and it's damaged situations and and created um it's like this heat this passion it's like they've been acting from passion and from um just like you know do whatever i want don't really care about anyone else and and it's hurt people it's really hurt people and, and created pain and damage that they didn't ever see. And I think they're starting to see that, or or maybe you are seeing this about a situation you've been in where it can be completely unintentionally, but suddenly you're realizing the damage and the pain that, that has been caused. 
The advice card is the ecstasy. So I feel like this is um, the advice for you is really um, to celebrate this understanding or this knowing um, because I feel like it's really expanding this person to become a real uh, a quality king, you know, a, a real solid king, one that integrates. The Sorry, my phone ran out of battery. My phone ran out of um, memory. Um, yeah, so celebrate because this person is really integrating all these things and it's going to be really powerful for them. And it, I feel like it's going to give you some kind of liberation or some kind of freedom. They may kind of, you know, there may have been some kind of attachment to this person, like a, um, like a kind of energetic bond, energetic link. And it's their kind of energy is really impacted on you. And I feel like they're going to really learn and see and understand something about themselves that is going to transform and become fair you may get an apology or you may get a letter or it may just be on an energetic level but you're going to be um uh absolutely released and freed from the situation um by allowing this this process to happen and uh, you don't need to get involved in it you, you can just keep yourself free independent you know, do cord cutting exercises and, and liberate yourself because this is a really good thing for you. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, group number three. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and you can book a private reading with me below. Sending lots of love.